Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Bryce here with uh, lots and lots and lots of good of uh, movies today. Um, did some, let's see here. Got a package from James, Star Tree Movie Empire. Uh, package from Miranda. Uh, one Walmart pickup. Uh, deep discount. Uh, two Dollar Tree Halls and McKay's. So yeah, I got a lot to go over. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just dive right on in here. Uh, Monday, I got a package from James in the mail. Uh, two, two, two titles. I traded him digital codes for these two titles. Um, this is from Last Wave. Uh, we got Bab. Um, I, have, I haven't opened it yet. Uh, Bab. And then Synapse. So, thank you, James, for the trade. Um, I will be trading with you again uh, soon. Um, I got more digital codes, I think, to give to you. I'll let you know. All right. Uh, deep discount. Um, I did a little order here. They're all upgrades. Um, I have the first one on Blu-ray. It's going to come out of the collection because I'm consolidating it down to the double feature here. Uh, we got Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. Uh, the, only, the only way that you can get Jeepers Creepers 2 on Blu-ray from MGM is in this release. Um, there is a Scream Factory version that's out of print that goes for a ton of money. So I figured, why not? I'll just get this and, and uh, get the other Jeepers Creepers out of the collection. Uh, if you're interested in the Blu-ray, uh, DM me on Instagram. I, I'll give you a good deal or I might just give it to you free. We'll see. So let me know. All right, um, then I got the 1998 version of Psycho. I know it gets a lot of hate because it's basically the same movie as the 1960 version, except colorized and different cast, but it's the same exact movie. But uh, I'm a completist, so I figured, you know, I'll, I'll just keep them for now. Um, I have the first one on Blu-ray. I have two, three, and four on uh, a multi-film DVD set. Eventually, I'll upgrade, but those go for a little bit more. Um, and then the last title here um, that I have is Watchmen, the director's cut. Um, I haven't seen this movie since I saw it in the theaters. I liked it. I need to revisit it when I have time. This movie is really long. It's like 186 minutes <laughs> so it's definitely over three hours long uh i don't usually have that much that, that much time to watch a movie all the way through so watch me all right that's everything from deep discount uh dollar tree part one yeah dollar tree part one uh if you follow me on the dollar tree movie group on facebook i posted this yesterday but for those who don't follow me on there, I will show you now. <laughs> um, we got Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. This is the Spanish version, um, but it's still Region A, so yeah, why not? I, I didn't have it in the collection, so now I do. Um, and then we got Fists, uh, Fists of Legend, another, looks like a UFC type movie. Um, because it's not just boxing. The guy doesn't just box him. He basically beats the shit out of him. Sorry for the language, guys. Um, this is a Korean movie. Korean, right? Uh, yes, this is a Korean release. Uh, movie from Cinema Service and CJ Entertainment. So, yep. Here you go. Pistol Legend. Uh, next one here is The Deadly Game with uh, Gabriel Byrne. So, we're going to be, um, on the back, it's in Spanish, well, the, there's a sticker that's in Spanish, but everything else is in English on the back, there's a sticker right there, I don't know what, I don't know, I think Dollar Tree's doing Spanish titles, no, we're just fine, I don't have a problem with that, as long as it's Region A, or Region 1 of his DVD, so, yeah, um, uh, next one here is a movie called Run, with Stephen Baldwin, uh, it does have a digital code, but this is a Mill Creek release, so it's from um, Movie Spree, I think is what it is. I don't know. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, movie spree. Okay, so it's not just a regular digital code. You have to go through them. So uh, if you're interested in the digital code, please DM me. I will gladly give it to you because I don't, I don't use digital codes. Um, next one here is a Robert Duvall double feature. I have I have Wild Horses already, but I don't think I had the other one. Um, a Night in Old Mexico. Um, I think they're on one. I think they're on one disc because usually when I get these, they're all on one disc. This is a Momentum release. Uh, next one here is a movie that I've never seen out in the wild before ever. Um, it's called The Secret Rapture. Um, I don't know. Never seen it before. Unfortunately, it's in full screen. I don't know why people still do full screen. It's from 2007, so I don't know why they still do full screen. But, um, rated R for language and sexuality. Okay. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, this one here is being sought after this time around. Um, it's only, this is the only copy that I found so far um someone from the dollar the dollar tree uh group that that I'm in uh one uh has been looking for this so if you guys find it let them know uh just go to my post and um reach out to him if you guys find it um I'm, I'm still gonna look for him but I haven't found it yet so you got varsity blood here it's an ROJE release there. Uh, next one here is an Echo Bridge called Uploaded. Uh, it's got Eric Roberts and Brian Krause in it. and Oh, and Be Beverly Mitchell from 7th Heaven's in it too. So you got Uploaded. I don't know how long they're actually in the movie for, but um, if you look on the back, Eric Roberts is right there. Beverly Mitchell is right there. And Brian Krause, I think, is... Right there, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, uploaded. And then the last one from that Dollar Tree was uh, Investigation 13. Um, I goofed. This is a duplicate copy. Um, I've been asking around if people want if people want me to send it to them. That everybody's uh, declined so far. Uh, if you're interested, please DM me. I might. Um, I'll send this your way. All right. That's everything from there. Uh, Walmart. I'm actually going in chronological order, so there we go. That way I don't forget anything. Um, Walmart didn't have like anything worth worth the price. Yeah, like yesterday, yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Um, but I went to the five dollar bin. They they did restock the five dollar bin. Um, so. The only thing I got was cat, cats and dogs three. I have the other two, so I said why not. And it has a slip cover, and it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. All right. So today, today I got my package from Miranda. Um, I will link her channel and her Instagram down below in the description box, as well as James's information as well. Um, uh, Miranda and I have been friends for over a year now. I think it's been more than a year. I think it's been almost two, if I remember correctly. Time flies, doesn't it? Um, so she reached out to me. She was getting she was getting rid of some Blu-rays. So um, and um, she sent me a uh, she sent me a bonus title here that I wasn't expecting. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so we got uh, Frankenstein. Um, the, this is an upgrade for me. This is the Boris Karloff version, uh, classic. Uh, I need to go back and watch it again. It's been a long time since I've seen it. So I have, I have Bride of Frankenstein on Blu-ray already. So this is going to be paired with it. Um, and then we got, uh, The Invisible Man with, uh, Claude, Claude Rains. Uh, this is another upgrade for me. Um, trying to, trying to upgrade my Universal Monsters collection, uh, from DVD to Blu-ray. So... This would be a good one. I don't know if I've actually seen this movie before. I don't remember. It looks familiar to me. Um, but like I said, I haven't seen it. Maybe just bits and pieces. I don't know. All right. Next one here is a childhood class, childhood favorite of mine. And my brother's, of course. Um, 
as an upgrade for me. Um, I, I do have the Blu-ray, and that's going to come out of the collection. So this is the 4K. It's uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit with the slope. Uh, she had she had upgraded to the uh, steel book, so I, I was like, uh, "How much you charge it for this?" So and she she, she gave me a great deal on it. So, uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? And then the last one here, um, she had done a video a while back, like recently, um, and she came across this at her grocery store. Um, it's called the Neil Simon Comedies Play Playwright Collection. So she found another copy and so she got, she snagged it for me. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you get the slugger's wife, lost in Yonkers, the cheap detective, the sunshine boys, Jake's women, London sweet. Uh, only when I laugh in chapter two, this is a milk. This is a mill Creek, uh, release. Uh, when I say it's probably, it is heavy. So I think it's two discs. So you get eight, uh, eight movies on here so you probably get four and four so so that's everything from Miranda thank you very much I will be sending something your way at some point all right so I went to another Dollar Tree today um, and I went to McKay's also because there's a McKay's there's McKay's and then McKay's and then there's Dollar Tree up in the same plaza uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do Dollar Tree first because they're only I only have like seven titles here and then uh, Mickey's, uh, just wait and find out and see what I got from them today. All right. So I'll take them out of the bag here. Uh, first one here is Gunpowder on Blu-ray. Um, I, I, I would take the slip out, but it, the, the, the sticker is catching it right now. Uh, you get Kit Harrington, Liv Tyler, Mark Gaddis, and uh, Peter Mullen. Um, I got it because Liv Tyler, I like her. Um, I've liked her since I saw her in uh, Armageddon, I think. Yeah, Armageddon, yeah. So, And, you know, she's the daughter of Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith. So, and I've known him, my, I've known of him my entire life because I grew up listening to Aerosmith. Um... I don't know much about this movie, so I figured, you know, uh, dollar twenty-five from two thousand eighteen. Why not? Um, then we got a movie here that I've, I've actually wanted to see since it was first announced. Never got around to it. I think my wife wanted to too. It's called Black or White with Kevin Costner and Octavia Spencer. Uh, you also get uh, Anthony Mackie is in here as well, and so is uh, Julian Jacobs. So. Yeah, I'll go ahead and watch it at some point. Have a movie night together with my wife. Probably watch this. Uh, maybe tomorrow night or Sunday night. We'll see. All right. Uh, next one here is the Box Trolls. It's the Spanish, it's the Spanish version with the slipcover. Um, you can watch it in English, Spanish, or Portuguese. So that's pretty cool. You get three different options here. Here's the back, and then slip cover. Uh, this one here, I don't think I have. This is a Shout Studios release of Swift with uh, Kate Winslet and uh, Willem Dafoe. That's a hell of a combination. <laughs> um, you also get uh, the the um, the voice talents of uh, Josh Keaton, David. Sh Shaun Nessie, I don't know if I'm probably butchering that. Uh, Mikey Kelly, Nolan North, uh, Arif Kinchin, Julie Nathanson, and Rob Paulson. Uh, you might know Rob Paulson. He's done a lot of voices uh, from like Warner Brothers and stuff like that. Uh, he's mostly known for Animaniacs. Uh, if you guys know what that was or is, because it's back now. So. Looking forward to this one. Might have the kids watch it with me at some point. Looks like a family movie. Uh, next one here is definitely not family friendly at all. This one looks really, really messed up. Um, it's called Cleaver's Killer Clowns. Here you go, Marie. <laughs> I know you love killer clowns. Um, so this is from uh, 101 Films 
from actually it doesn't say what year it's from but it looks pretty modern to me though uh i don't recognize anybody in this movie though but it looks pretty 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 messed up so yeah cleavers killer clowns all right uh next one is for the kids um we have the other we have the other two um, that Dollar Tree had in the past. This is another collection. Um, it's a double disc, I think. It's a Llama Llama family fun collection. Um, this is, uh, let's see, almost three hours long. So Sienna and Brendan won't like this. They like the other two that we got. So I figured, why not? Dollar 25 can't beat that, especially for kids stuff. I do actually enjoy the other two. Um, I've watched it many, many times since because I, I was, you know, I was there. Um, and then the last title here is The Warlord. I actually found this at the other Dollar Tree, but I passed on it. The Warlord, Death Before Dishonor. This is, a, obviously, it's a war movie. Um, it's about the Mongolian army, horse, uh, horse battalion fighting against Japan's uh, Imperial Army. So I do like some more stuff, so I figured why not. And this is from ITN. Um, I don't know if it's in English or not. It might be, but everybody in this movie is, is either Chinese or Japanese, so I have no idea if it's in English or not. It probably is in Mongolian, but we'll see. That's everything from Dollar from the Dollar Tree that's next to McKay's, <clears throat> and then let's go, let's go ahead and dive in on to McKay's here. Um, I have not taken the stickers off, so you'll see how much I paid for them. Got two bags here. Let me start off with this first bag here. All right, um, all right. People have been finding the steelbook of this at their uh, Dollar Trees, um, but I just went ahead and got the DVD, Wolf's Bane. Uh, this is the original release from uh, First Look Studios. The, uh, the steelbook is from Echo Bridge, so um, hopefully the audio is better on this one. I know Echo Bridge doesn't do a really good job on audio on the older titles here. Um, this has got Jeremy London in it. Um, and Yancey Butler. Uh, it's also got Mark Dacus Ghost. Um, Christy Romano is in here too. That's pretty cool. Uh, she was in, uh, Even Stevens with, um, Shia LaBeouf. Uh, let's see. Rhett, Rhett Giles, uh, Taylor Rapolo, Derek Ozendotch. So, yeah, Wolf's Bane. Uh, then we got the Manhattan Project. I know there's a Kino of this, if I remember correctly. But I'd rather pay $1.99 for it. And it's also MGM. Uh, you get John Lithgow, uh, Christopher Collett, Cynthia Nixon. This is directed by Marshall Brickman. So, I do like to be some John Lithgow, so I figured why not. Then we got Diamond Run with uh, Richard Lynch, Michael J. Valentine, and Linda Lorca. I think it's Lorca. It's L L J O K A. This one's a dollar ninety five. Uh, yes, this one. I don't think I have this one. I might because I might have gotten it from Dollar Tree in the past, but I don't know. I have to go search. I have to go search and see if I have it. Uh, it's called Bullets, uh, Bullets for the Dead. It's a zombie western movie. Uh, you also get two bonus movies in here. The Bounty Killer and uh, Blood Money. So, I don't know. We'll see. This looks pretty cheesy. Like the, the, the digital stills on the back look pretty cheesy to me. So, we'll see. Dar 49, not too bad. Uh, next one here is a Robin Williams movie called The Fisher King. This is also a dollar ninety nine. Uh, Co stars Jeff Bridges and it's directed by uh, Terry Gilliam uh, from Monty Python. Uh, um, 
let's see who else is in here. Uh, Amanda Plummer and Mercedes Rule. Uh, Rule. Hopefully I'm not butchering that too much. Uh, it was produced by Deborah Hill. Uh, you know she produced Halloween with uh, John Carpenter. So that's pretty cool there. This is over two hours long too. From 19... It says from 98, but I don't, it looks older. Oh, 91, sorry. The, the DVD is from 98, but the actual movie is from 1991. So around the same time he did Hook. All right. Uh, we got a snapper here. Uh, for 99 cents, we got The Bonfire of the Vanities with uh, Tom Hanks, Bruce Willis, and Melanie Griffith, uh, co-starring Morgan Freeman. So that's a pretty good cast there. I figured dollar, why not? Uh, next one here is uh, The Family Man with uh, Nicolas Cage. This was a dollar also. Uh, you also get Jeremy Piven, Don Cheadle, Saul Rubinek, and Tia Leone. Leone. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that before. I think I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I haven't seen it all the way through. Uh, next one here is a Dennis Hopper movie called The Keeper. I paid $1.95 for this. Uh, you get Asia Argento is in here too, uh, Helen Shaver and Lachlan Munro, and directed by Paul Lynch from two thousand three. So it looks looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to watching it. I do like the cast. Here's the back. Uh, this one here was showing up at Walmart for nine ninety six. I paid half of it. At half for it. I paid four ninety nine for it. Looks really, really bad. It's called Spider in the Attic. Uh, this one was... Oh, let's see who's in... Who's, uh, this was written and directed by Scott Jeffrey. Um, Chelsea Greenwood is in here. I've seen a bunch of other movies with her in it. Um, she was in that Leprechaun movie that I watched uh, a while back. She was in... I want to say she was in that one movie, uh, Scare, Amyville Scarecrow. I still haven't finished it yet. I was kind of bored with it, but probably got to go back and finish watching it at some point just to say I watched it. So, um, this looks pretty gruesome. There's the spider right there. I don't know how much people love spiders. All right. Next one here is a brand new factory sealed copy of Bound. With uh, Jennifer Tilly and Gina Gershon and uh, Joe Pantoliano from The Goonies. Uh, of course, Joe plays a mobster. Of course. <laughs> um, unfortunately, he's, unfortunately, he does get typecast a lot. Um, but he, he's actually a really good actor. Um, this was directed by... Um, let's see here. Directed by the Wachowski Brothers. Uh, the director of photography, uh, Bill Pope, uh, he he did Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, so I'm looking forward to this one then, also, on top of the cast by itself. So, yep, bound. And the last one I have in this bag is Dangerous Isolation, still brand new factory sealed. This one's got uh, Nick Totoro in it. Uh, back when he was known as Nicholas Totoro, Totorio. Um, it's weird because it's weird on the front it says Nicholas, on the back it says Nick. Um, you also get Alexand Alexander Paul and Dennis Christopher, uh, you know, from It, the original It. So, looking forward to that one. Bag. Next bag. <clears throat> Next bag here, guys. It's going to be a long video. Sorry, guys, if you guys don't like long videos. <clears throat> um, I, I used to have this in my collection years ago. I want to say back in the, the mid two thousands. Uh, Christina's house. This was a dollar, also MGM release here. Uh, John Savage, Allison Lang, Brad Rowe, and Brendan Fair. So I have to go back and watch it again. It's been a very long time since I've seen it. Uh, Groove had this um, last time that I did an order with them, but I passed on it. Uh, I'm glad I did because I only paid a dollar for it. Uh, casual Sex with uh, Lee Thompson, 
Victoria Jackson, uh, Stephen Schellen, and Jerry Levine, Andrew Dice Clay, Mary Gross. Uh, 1988. So, figured why not. I do like some of the cast members on here. The ones that I actually recognize, I do like them. So, uh, this one... This one recently got really well. This this is this is a older version of the same film, but uh, Death on the Nile. This is the this is the one from nineteen seventy eight, uh, starring Betty Davis, uh, David Nevin, Angela Lansbury, Maggie Smith, Mia Farrow, George Kennedy, Olivia Hussey, Simon Mac, Cork and Dale, uh, Jack Warden. Stack pretty stacked cast here, so I figured why not for five million nine. Figured why not. Uh, next one here is uh, Attack of the Griffin. This is dollar uh, ninety nine. Looks pretty cheesy. Um, this is from two thousand seven. Uh, I don't recognize any of the cast members though. You get Jonathan LaPaglia, Larry Drake, and Amber Benson. And directed by Andrew Prowse. So, oh, uh, Amber Benson's from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the, the, the TV show with, uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. And, uh, Allison Hannigan. Yeah. So, there we go. There's that. <clears throat> sorry, I'm running out of room up here on this desk. Sorry, sorry about the shaky cam. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Every time I go to Walmart, I always pass on this one because I think it's overly priced. But I found it for $1.95 today. Apex with uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Neil Mc McDonough. $1.95, can't beat that. I pick it up. I don't care what format. Um, I heard this movie. I heard this movie is very, really terrible, but, um, you also get Corey Lang, Alexander, uh, Alex, Alexia Fast, uh, Nels Lennerson, Lachlan Monroe, again, like the other movie, uh, Trevor Gretzky, and Megan Pettahill. So, darn, darn 95 for Bruce Willis, why not? <clears throat> Got another snapper here, uh, this is White Sands. With uh, Willem Dafoe and Mickey Rourke. I paid 99 cents for this one as well. You also get Mary Elizabeth Mas Mastrantonio in this movie as well. Uh, so, you know, figure why not it's a snapper. So, I do like snappers. Um, this one completes my Fast and the Furious collection. I don't know why, but I was missing this one. It was like a random one. Uh, Fast and the Furious 6. Um, I thought I had it, but apparently I didn't. So now now I'm complete up until the um, up until the ninth one. Uh, and I have Hobbs and Shaw, so I'm looking, obviously waiting for the 10th one to be released, the physical. So there we go. Uh, next one is I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell. Uh, this was a dollar as well. Um, this one, Jesse Bradford, Jeff Stoltz, and Matt Zuckery. So, yeah. Looks like a really, really messed up movie there. Uh, next one here, I've been actually looking for this one for a while. They had it for a dollar also. It's Gone, Gone Fishing, uh, Joe Pesci and Danny Glover. Uh, you also get Rosanna Arquette and Lynn Whitfield in here. This is from... I'm not going to say because this is a Buena Vista title. I mean, uh, Disney, so it's timeless, right? <laughs> Alright, next one here is Top Secret with Val Kilmer. Also, 99 cents. And then the last one here is Mr. Saturday Night with Billy Crystal, also at 99 cents. Uh, this one you get uh, David Paymer, Julie Warner, Helen Hunt, and Ron Silver in here. Uh, this is writ written, written, directed, and produced by Billy Crystal. 
And that is everything I have to show you guys today. Um, I did I did a, a I did a wild eye a, a wild eye order with MVD. Uh, I got the maximum titles that they would let me fifteen, but they were all like three dollar ones, so it wasn't really that much money at all. I know wild eye gets a really bad rap, but there's a occasionally there's a good one out there for wild eye. Um, but that's everything I got for you guys right now. Um, my my brother picked up a few things from his Dollar Tree for me. You guys have already seen them, though. Um, so that's all I have for you today. So uh, if you want to subscribe to me, please subscribe to me. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.